Welcome back to HodgePodge. In this tutorial, we will be using the simulation features in Fusion 360 to analyze stress points and loads on our model. If you are unsure of how to access Fusion 360's in-program tutorials, please follow the provided link. We will start in the simulation workspace. Switch to the simulation workspace by going to the workspace drop-down menu in the top ribbon menu. Select Study in the Studies window. Select Static Stress and click OK. Now we will select Structural Load from the top ribbon menu. This option can also be accessed by right-clicking and moving your cursor to 1 o'clock. The pop-up window can be snapped to the Canvas browser by clicking and dragging it to the left like so. Select the interior face and set the magnitude force to 500 newtons. Click OK. On the opposing side of our part, we will create a structural constraint. Select the following face and be sure that the X, Y, and Z axes are selected in the pop-up window. Then click OK. Your object is now locked in place via the face you selected. Now, we may click Solve in the top ribbon menu. The automated process will take a minute or so to complete. The result is a colored map. Blue regions represent minimal stress points, while red represents high stress areas. Click the Home button above the View Cube to return to the Home view. To the left of the Results legend, you may click on the Fatigue Studies drop-down menu. You may get a better look at these areas by dragging your arrows on either side of the legend, up and down. This has been a presentation of the 8th in-program tutorial Fusion 360 has to offer. Visit the following links to view the next and previous tutorials in this series. Modal Frequency Simulation in Fusion 360 and Animating in Fusion 360. As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.